Alrighty guys, welcome to our 25th video on introduction to PHP and MySQL and congratulations to all of those who have made it this far. I think this is probably the last video we're going to have before we start getting into loops and then MySQL. So I'm going to do a quick video on a PHP statement called switch and it's really just a cleaner and more precise way of doing an if else statement or an else if statement. And uh, switch only deals with one variable. We're not dealing with we're not comparing two variables to see if they equal the same thing or one is bigger or smaller than the other one. We're just trying to get one variable and we're trying to give it different situations. So if that variable changes, we have different things we can execute. So let's go ahead and create a variable and we'll go ahead and call this var, we'll call it var1 and it'll equal one, one, whoa, 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 one. Okay, so just like an if else statement, is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and give it another line. I'll drop this one down another another line or two. And I'm gonna type in switch, just like we would for an if else statement, give it parentheses and then open curly braces. And what do we wanna switch? Well, probably the only variable that we have and the one we just created, variable one. Okay, I'm gonna drop this down a little bit because it's all gonna go in between these parentheses. Okay, so what do we wanna switch? Well, we wanna give it a case. Say that our case is maybe this variable changes at one point of a program that's being run in to zero. So we're going to change it to zero, add a full colon, and we're going to echo, what are we going to echo? Uh, var1 equals zero. And I'm going to close it out, and I'm going to type in break. Now break is a command we're going to talk more about in the next video, but it keeps other conditions from executing, because we're going to have we could have tens and thousands of different cases up here. So once, once the program sees break, it hits it and it jumps out of the program so it doesn't have to go through all this stuff and waste a lot more time. So I'll make a note off this. I'll make a comment off to the side. Break, break, break is a command that which keeps other conditions from executing. Okay, so let's give it another case. Say that our variable does in fact equal one. So we'll give it a case of one and we'll echo variable one equals one. Perfect, we knew that. Okay, well, let's give it another case. We can give it an infinite amount of cases. And we'll go ahead and create, we'll give it an echo Variable one equals two. Well, it doesn't equal two yet, but it might somewhere down the road. And I didn't do a break after these two cases, did I? Okay. So the exact thing I just talked about, I did not do. So it's going to break after this. Okay. So say we have... <clears throat> We can pull this up a little bit. Okay, say our variable changes, but we do not have a case for it. We're not ready for it. So let's go ahead and set a default. I know this probably seems overwhelming at first, but just keep in mind that case, break, and default all fall under this the PHP statement of switch. So let's go ahead and give it a default statement in case our variable changes to something that we're not ready for. <clears throat> and we'll echo, what do we echo? Variable one is not zero, one, or two. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna close this out and we're gonna break it. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit to make my code a little bit prettier. I'm gonna save it and let's run this program. Variable one equals one. Yeah, we knew that. Set it to the value of two. Let's reload it. Very one now equals two. Okay, but now let's set it to the value of four. And we only created cases where it has the value of zero, one, and two. So it's gonna resort to our default statement down here. So I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna reload it. And here it goes. Variable one is not zero, one, or two. So again, this is more like of a concise way of just doing an if else statement for just one variable. So if we're just dealing with one variable and we need to give it certain different cases or options, we know that the variable is going to vary or change, switches is what we want to perform. So 
you guys might need to want to watch this video again. I know the switch took me a couple times to learn and uh, before I got really comfortable in programming with it. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next video and good luck.